for spending part of your Thursday with us on Mid Morning. We've talked about this in theory before, but now some employees are actually getting microchipped. I can't wait till this starts here at CCO. About 150 workers at the Epicenter Startup Hub in Stockholm, Sweden, decided, let's do it. Let's get this microchip. It's about the size of a grain of rice. It's pretty small. It doesn't right. hurt. You barely feel it. The chips function as kind of a swipe card. So, you know, we all have those swipe cards, yep. like in your, you have it in your purse or in your wallet or to in your pocket to get in the building. Mm -hmm. This helps operate printers. So this is a shared workspace. There's about yeah. 2,000 employees, 200 different companies here. So, you know, you just go up, you just stand by the thing and a it works. Wave. Yep. It was brilliant. Yeah, we've talked about this before mm -hmm. on the show, the possibility of the it. The possibility, right. And at first, I was completely against it. Someone just used it as like season tickets, right? Right for a, for a European right. football yeah. soccer, yes. and you just yeah. kind of wave your you could finger. Walk in, mm -hmm. right? But you know, I was thinking more about it, and just the convenience of not having to carry anything to just walk up to a door; it opens for you. Yeah. Just today, I recently got a new phone, mm -hmm. and I realized how much I appreciate that thumbprint, and how much I took it for granted because I had to reset my settings and type sure. in the four-digit code, and oh, oh my no. gosh, it took up so much time to do that. Four digits? Who's yes. got that kind and, of time? And now I'm like, oh, what would I do without the thumbprint? You, so now you're ready to go I'm the next of, step. I'm kind of ready for it. You know? this, Let's see what other possibilities are out there. No, this freaks me out. To have, like, to have something from your employer that's implanted in you, I think it's too much. How do you know there already isn't something in plan? I guess I guess I don't know. Went that. through the HR process here. I don't no, know. I don't, I don't recall anyone stabbing me, but <laughs> it might happen. You read all the point. fine print of your contract. Yeah, I just you go home and you want to feel a little disconnected, but knowing that there's always something that's sure. physically inside of you. I get this from an employer standpoint. It's great. You never have to worry about losing ID cards. You know, the for security purposes. Security. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Until that's somebody weird. cuts your arm off and uses it. To come in I'm not going to lie. That I know that that's like very far fetched and just in the movies, but I would be worried about that. Yeah. Well, very rational fear. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot easier ways to get into a building than cutting someone's hand off, I would think. Oh. Uh, look, I actually uh, am intrigued by the, techno mm -hmm. the technology, and you think about all the things, especially like passwords, all the passwords you need to have. Mm -hmm. Or even you just could to have open a, your car if you forget your yeah. keys or something. That said, I sure uh, as heck do not want my employer tracking my movements oh. when I go home. Why? What do you have to hide? I have a lot to hide. It's Ooh. none of your business. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you here. <laughs> Too bad. We're about a one commercial break. <laughs>